Wimberley Info was created to bring you the inside scoop on everything Wimberley. Not just the mainstream tourist stuff either, but actual local insights. You will hear from ourselves, Trey and Jamila, the many local business owners, their employees, and sometimes even the poor Seth that we sat down next to at lunch and so much more. Place, very historical house. The house was built in 1857. And William Winters was the guy that started, that had the first big successful mill here in town. And it was a uh, sawmill as well as a grist mill. And later, in later years, they expanded and would, could do wheat and could do, uh, even had a cotton gin component to it. Uh, if you look from right here across, this is where he lived, but from right across the street over there, you can see where Ozona Bank is. And you can see the marker there that that marks the site where the old mill was originally located. And in the mill, he had to, uh, he, could, he was high enough above the floodplain to avoid all but major floods. And, but he, now he had to bring water into that. So the street right down below between here and the creek is called Cypress Creek. And he would uh, dug a big ditch, uh, a mill race they call it where he could dam the creek up, up there below Blue Hole and divert water down his, his mill race and bring it to the mill and that would power the stones for grinding corn or he could switch out the stones for a uh, saw blade and cut lumber with it as well. And this was one of the big things that helped the town grow? All, all communities, it really did. And there were several, if you look at the history of that period, all the little towns had to have a place to continue, so they needed a, uh, a mill was critical to doing the business. So the farmers would raise their corn and raise their crops, and they could bring the uh, corn in and have, have it ground here, yeah. so they would have, they could make cornbread or feed their cows or whatever they needed to with that. So it was a, a critical piece, and the way he would collect his money usually, he would do it on the shares, so there would be a, um, a, a fee. Maybe he, he would keep 25% of what he ground or 15% or something. And so that was how he made a lot of his money because a lot of it was trading back in those days. So that's uh, William Winters, and he was the miller, and then he built this house. So he didn't have a very long commute, as you can tell. Yeah. Ranch Road 12 <laughs> wasn't quite as busy as it is now. So he'd just go down the hill, and he was at, at his office. So uh, we want to go in for a little while? Yeah. So this is the Winters uh, Wimberley house. And you can see it's one big room at this point. But originally there were two rooms. This was divided and partitioned into two rooms. So these are the old stones from the original mill. The, uh, the museum, we're Wimberley Valley Mu uh, Museum. And we really don't have a lot of artifacts as such. These are two of the artifacts that we have. And these were the, the uh, grinding stones for grinding the corn. Uh, and, and the product you can maybe see, I don't know if you can zoom in on the process there, but you can see how the water would turn the wheel and turn through a drive shaft and it would turn the stones, which are up here. So the corn would be poured in and they'd get between these two stones and would grind it up and then they would come out and, uh, and, and, and get, the people would get their share of the, of the corn. And when was the actual mill built? So the mill was, the, the house was built in 1857. This was a couple of years before that. So 1854, 55, it was a continual process though. If you found this episode helpful, please let us know by leaving a review. For more Wimperly insights or to check out our local business directory, go to www.wimberly.info and be sure to follow us on Instagram for daily Wimberly content. If you have a question for us about Wimberly, email us at wimberly.info at gmail.com or message us at wimberly.info on Instagram.